Welcome guys to this another video and in today's video we want to continue from where we left off in our last video so in today's video we'll be completing question 11 to 20 all right and remember we're looking at the stage 2 set 1 city and guilds math pass paper all right now if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button don't forget to give this video a thumbs up that's really a free way of supporting the Chris Matz Academy. So you guys, please don't be afraid to hit that like button. All right. So show this channel some love as we try to make math as simple as possible for you guys. All right. Now let's get right into it. Now we're looking at question 11, which requires us to add 375 along with 3,750 and 37,500. All right. Now remember city and gills does not allow for the use of a calculator so whatever workings we are going to do here we have to do it without the aid of a calculator all right so we're going to add these numbers now so we have 37,500 the 3,750 as well as the 375 all right we're going to add them now 5 plus 0 plus 0, that's just 5. 7 plus 5, leave that's 12. So we carry the 1 right there. 3 plus 7, that's 10. 10 plus 5, that's 15. Plus 1, that's 16. So 6, carry the 1 there. 3 plus 7, that's 10. Plus 1, that's 11. We we'll carry the 1 here. 3 plus 1, that's 4. So our answer would be 41,625, all right? And that would be option D right there. Now we're looking at question 12. Eggs are packed in trays of 30. How many eggs are in 15 trays, all right? Now, if one tray consists of 30 eggs, it's safe to assume that 15 trays will have 15 times as many eggs, all right? So 15 times... 30 all right and again we can multiply um, we can use each digit um, one at a time or we could just go ahead and say 15 times 0 that's 0 15 times 3 that's 45 all right so our answer would be 450 all right and as I explained here You could have also done this um, digit by digit. So whichever digit you choose to start with, it doesn't matter. Just know that whatever digit you're you are multiplying with, you have to start recording all right, the results underneath that digit. So if we start with 5 here, 5 times 0, have to start recording here. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 3, that's 15. All right. Now 1 times 0 would be zero now whatever digit you are multiplying with again you have to start recording underneath that digit all right so one times zero is zero and we can use zero for the place value here all right now one times three that's three now we can add these up now so zero plus zero that's zero zero plus five that's five three plus one that's four all right so either way you choose to do it that's completely fine you'll get the same answer all right, now we're looking at question 13. So a leaflet has 14 pages. A customer orders 2,500 copies. How many pages will this be in total? All right, fair enough. Now, if we know that one leaflet consists of 14 pages, then it's safe to assume that 2,500 leaflet will have 2,500 times as many pages. All right, so we're required to do a little multiplication here. So 14 times 2,500. Now 4 times 0, that's 0. 4 times 0 again, that's 0. 4 times 5, that's 20. 0 carry 2 here. 4 times 2, that's 8. Plus 2, that's 10. Now we start multiplying with the 1. So we have to record 
underneath start recording underneath the one so one times zero is zero again we can use zero as the placeholder here one times zero again that would be zero one times five is five one times two is two we can go ahead and add up these numbers now zero zero here zero here five plus zero that's five two plus one that's three so our answer here would actually be thirty five thousand which is option b right here now we're looking at question 14. now four people share a telephone bill of 150 dollars equally each person must pay now which operation would be most appropriate for a question like this there you go you have guessed it that would be division all right so what we want to do is to divide this 150 into four equal parts since four people are going to share the telephone bill equally all right so we want to know how much time can four go into 150 all right now 4 into 15 goes 3 times, here we go, 3 times 4, that's 12, do our subtraction here, now 12 from 15 will leave us with 3, carry down the 0 here, 4 into 30 goes what, 7 times, 7 times 4, that's 28, again we do our subtraction here, 28 from 30, leave us with two now can four go into two of course not all right so what we're going to do we're going to place our decimal point here which then allows us to place a zero here making this 20 now four into 20 goes five times five times four that's 20 all right and 20 from 20 is zero so we're pretty much finished there so basically our answer because we're talking about money usually money have two decimal places so we can add a zero here all right to bring that up to two decimal places so our answer would be thirty seven dollars fifty cents all right and that would be option a right here Now let us look at question 15. A piece of wood 250 millimeters long is cut into eight equal smaller lengths. Each smaller length is, all right, so key thing here. It's cut into eight equal smaller lengths. So to get our answer here, pretty much similar to question 14. Again, we're going to employ the division concept here so I want to know how many times can eight go into 250 now eight into 25 goes what three times three times eight is 24 24 from 25 will leave us with one carry down the zero here now eight into 10 goes one time one times eight that's eight all right eight from ten that's two now can eight go into two no it can't so we're going to add a decimal point here which then allows us to place a zero here eight into twenty goes two times two times eight is sixteen and we'll do our subtraction here again sixteen from twenty leave us with four can eight go into four no but because we're already behind the decimal point we can place a zero here again. Eight into 40 goes five times. Five times eight is 40, all right? 40 from 40, that's zero. So therefore, our answer would actually be 31.25 millimeters, all right? Which would be option C right here. Now we're looking at question 16 one memory stick costs eight dollars all right now they have a special offer here now if you buy two memory sticks you'll get the second one at half price all right so that's a key thing to note now a customer buys two memory stick how much does the customer pay now remember if you buy two memory stick you get the second one at half price now for the first one the customer will have to pay the full price which is eight dollars 
now for the second one the customer will get the second one at half price and half of eight that would be four now eight plus four that is pretty much twelve dollars all right so therefore our correct answer here would actually be option c all right now we're looking at question 17 there are 650 concert tickets for sale on wednesday 232 tickets were sold on thursday another 143 tickets were sold how many tickets are left to sell all right fair enough now before we can determine how many tickets are left we want to know the total amount of tickets that were sold all right now we need to add up those tickets that were sold on Wednesday and Thursday. Alright, so that would be 232 plus the 143. 3 plus 2, that's 5. 4 plus 3, that's 7. 1 plus 2, that's 3. Alright, now in total 375 tickets were sold. So if we want to know the total amount of tickets that are left to sell, then we can just simply subtract the amount of tickets that were sold from the total amount of tickets that we have, all right? So we're going to take the 375 from the 650 right there. All right, so here we go. And we're going to take the 375 from the 650. Now, can we get five from zero? Of course not all right now what we want to do we're going to start borrowing from here so we're going to borrow from the six here leaving five and we place the one here making this 15 now we're going to borrow from the 15 leaving 14 and we're going to place the one here making this 10 all right now 5 from 10 is 5 7 from 14 that will leave us with 7 3 from 5 that's two so therefore our answer here the correct answer would be option a which is 275 tickets all right now we're looking at question 18 a plane ticket costs 386 dollars and baggage costs 18 dollars 75 cents what is the total cost all right so the total cost would would have to include the plane ticket costs along with the baggage costs all right which means this requires some addition all right so 386 plus the 18 dollars 75 cents all right so we're just going to add the two decimal place here just to give this thing some facelift now five plus zero that's five seven plus zero that's seven going to carry back our decimal point here 8 plus 6 that's 14 4 carry the 1 here 1 plus 8 that's 9 plus 1 that's 10 so 0 carry the 1 3 plus 1 that's 4 so therefore our answer would actually be $404.75 which is option D right here all right now we're looking at question 19 a customer orders 12 fence panels each fence panel costs 68 dollars and 83 cents the total cost of the fence panels is all right so if we know that each fence panel which is the same thing as saying one fence panel costs 68 dollars and 83 cents then it is safe to assume that 12 fence panel will cost 12 times as much all right so this requires some multiplication here so 12 times the 68 dollars 83 cents all right so what we can do we can multiply with each digit here so 2 times 3 that's 6 2 times 8 that's 16 so 6 carry the 1 here 2 times 8 that's 16 plus 1 17 7 carry the 1 here 2 times 6, that's 12 plus 1, 13. All right. And again, we're going to put a place value here. Let's get rid of these ones up here. Now, 1 times 3, that's 3. 1 times 8, 8. 1 times 8 again, that's 8. 1 times 6, 
is 6. Now we're going to add these up. 6 plus 0, that's 6. 6 plus 3, that's 9. 8 plus 7, that's 15. 5 carry 1. 8 plus 3, that's 11. Plus 1, that's 12. 2 carry 1. 6 plus 1, that's 7. Plus 1, that's 8. All right. Now what we want to do is to look at how many decimal places were involved in this particular multiplication operation. When we look at this, we only have two decimal places, so we're going to represent those two decimal places right here. So our correct answer here would actually be $825.96, and that is option A right here. Now to look at our final question in this segment, question 20, six friends share the cost of a holiday equally. The total cost of the holiday is $5,125.50. How much does each friend pay? Now, again, the key thing here is that they share the cost equally, all right? And the cost is divided among six friends, all right? So we want to know how many times can six go into this $5,125.50. Now, let's do that so 6 into 5125.50 let's see what this will give us now 6 into 51 goes 8 times 8 times 6 that's 48 48 from 51 that's 3 carry down the 2 here 6 into 32 that's 5 5 times 6 that's 30 30 from 32, that's 2. Carry down the 5 here. 6 into 25 goes 4 times. 4 times 6, that's 24. 24 from 25 will leave us with 1. Now, can 6 go into 1? No. So, we're just going to add the decimal place here and bring down this 15 here. All right. Now, 6 into 15 goes 2 times. 2 times 6, that's 12. 12 from 15 will leave us with 3. Carry down the 0 here. Alright. Now, 6 into 30 goes 5 times. 5 times 6 is 30. Alright. And 30 from 30. That's zero. And we are pretty much finished here. So our correct answer would actually be $854.25. Let's look for that right here. That would be option D. All right. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this segment. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next video where we complete from question 21 to 30. Please don't forget to give this video some like, some love. Please share the video with your fellow classmates or students that will be sitting the City and Guilds math exam at the stage 2 level. Alright? So please also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so and join the Chris Maths Academy where it's all about making awesome things happen. Until next time, blessings and peace.